In today's video, losing seven pounds in four days on a 1,000 calorie diet, is that a mistake? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm trying it a little different. I got a brand new iPhone. I think it's a 12S something. So I'm gonna check out the camera on here and the audio um, until I can get back in my office studio um, just trying out a few different things. So you guys let me know what you think of the audio, the video, all that stuff. But today's video comes from my Instagram direct message. So first things first, if you'd like me to answer a question, go to my Instagram direct message and uh, send me a DM. And if you'd like this type of content, hit subscribe. It is what I really enjoy doing is answering your guys' questions. And now that I'm not going to bodybuilding shows until at least April, I've got time to do some of these videos every day. So tune in if you've got a question. So the question comes from a man here who was like 255 pounds, went on a 1,000 calorie diet, lost seven pounds in four days, and he's a little worried that that's a little rapid. And so I want to talk through kind of the pros and... Ooh, look at that mug. Okay, guys, I just wanted to remind you while I'm editing this video, I forgot that today is the final day to sign up for the Pro Physique Transformation Challenge $50,000 cash prizes, including... Nutrition, including training, including home workouts, vegan diets. I have to get it all out there because by tonight at midnight, there are no more signups. Okay, guys? So I'm going to put a link in the description box. Go check it out and let's get going. And now let's get back to the video. Cons of an approach like this um, because I don't think it's all bad, but it's definitely not all good either. Okay. There are a lot of things that go into a successful weight loss journey and creating a caloric deficit is just one of them. Now, for, for my athletes, for bodybuilders, I do not like weight loss, fat loss, to be greater than 1%, maybe 1.5% of your body weight per week. However, this is for trained individuals who have a lot of lean body mass and people that typically don't carry a lot of body fat already, right? So if you have more body fat to carry and you haven't been trained, well, you're not really risking that much lean body mass loss by being a little bit more aggressive. So it's a sliding scale. So what you did with a thousand calorie diet. I kind of commend that because the first step in losing weight is behavior change, right? And if I tell you, you can only lose two pounds a week because you're 255 pounds, two and a half pounds, you might think that that's not fast enough. It might not get you excited and you might not stick to the plan. But if I say, hey, we can lose four to five pounds a week to start off and that gets you motivated, then we can work on some behavior change. You also mentioned here that you're gonna start to reverse and bring the calories up once you reach your goal. And I think that's the most important part. I did a video uh, a couple weeks ago talking about an exit strategy from a crash diet. The real problem with crash diets, with diets like the military diet and these diets that I, that I constantly see is that the people get great results. But weight loss is not the problem, people. Weight loss is not really the issue. Weight loss maintenance is the issue. Are you able to sustain and change your lifestyle enough to keep the weight off, that is the issue. So what we have to talk about here is, if you're getting a thousand calories a day, how long is it gonna be before you blow out your diet? How long is it gonna be before you just say, screw it? This is where we can start to include things like refeed days, free meals, and perhaps instead of doing a thousand calories a day, you diet on a more acceptable amount of calories. Now, if you have no idea how many calories you should be dieting on. I got a great idea for you. Go to ProPhysique.com. I have a free calculator right on the website. You put in a bunch of information about your height, your age, your weight, your body fat percentage that you estimate, and it's gonna give you some calories, okay? And those calories are just gonna be an estimate, but it can do a pound a week fat loss, two pounds a week fat loss, but the purpose there is just to give you a starting point and something you can focus on because really the most important thing is that you just set up a plan, follow it, and you remain consistent, all right? So my man, uh, hopefully you're uh, you're still doing well and uh, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Short and sweet and to the point. Thousand calorie diets. Hey, if you can stick to it, more power to you, but I don't think it's a long-term solution. All right, bye guys.